I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on upgrading your HTC Evo 4G phone to Bake Snack. Um, I'm going to use Bake Snack 1.7. It's been up for a few days. I'm sure it's pretty solid. I see some good things on the forum about it. Um, to do this, you'll need to go over to the um, the Bake Snack website. I mean, just use Google. It's your friend. I'm not going to give URLs and things. And of course, you'll need your Evo phone, basically any computer. Uh, a USB cable. So I'm doing this on uh, my Linux box. I'm just going to plug in the cable um, really quick here and then unlock the phone and I'm going to mount it as a, um, and sorry for the quality of this video, as a disk drive. When you do that we should get a drive over here. I've got a 16 gig file system on this guy. I recommend using a pretty good size file system if you're going to play around with ROMs. Um, I need to go over and look at my downloads folder. I already downloaded Bake Snack 1.7. Um, it's literally this easy. So I'm just going to copy this guy over into this um, directory, into the root directory of the SD card. I'm going to leave it zipped up. There's no need to like unzip it or anything like that. Um, so we got a little dialog there showing us Bake Snack 1.7 zip is copying. It's 166.2 megabytes for this particular file. Um, that's why I suggest getting like a fairly large SD card so that you can have different kernels or different themes and things like that that you can play around with. Um, Clearly my system sucks. I'm using, um, I don't know where the hell I got that cable. It must be some uh, Walmart cable. I haven't used that one in the past. It's probably a total piece of shit. All right, it finished copying. Um, do whatever method you do on your OS to um, safely remove the drive to make sure everything gets written out. Now on the EVO, in order to use this, um, in order to move use this file, you're going to need... Um, I'll show you the program, how easy this is. You're going to need a ROM manager installed. You can get this off of the marketplace. Just search for ROM manager. Um, it's telling me the SD card needs to be unmounted. So genius move right off the bat. It's pretty easy to unmount it. You just unplug the freaking card, give it a few seconds, and it will unmount it. I'm using the Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. That's the ROM manager that we're using here. Um, so what I'm going to do is just reboot into the recovery. Are you sure you want to reboot into the recovery? Are you really, really sure? This has a lot of reflection on it. It's kind of sucky. So now we're going to boot into a recovery screen, and this is going to be blurry and really hard to see on this camera. But there's a lot of options on here. Um, basically what we're going to go for, I'll just read it off. We want to do the um, um, install. First off, I'm going to wipe everything. It never, it sucks, yeah, that wiping things, you want to keep all your programs. Um, but I'm going to wipe all this stuff off. So wipe data factory reset, we'll start there. And to select the items, you hit the power button. And there's like a small menu here that says, are you really, really, really sure? And again, we hit the power button. So then you'll get something that shows. Um, it goes pretty fast, wiping data. And I'm going to wipe the cache partition too. Wipe cache. Hey, you bet. Formatting cache, cache wipe complete. Now I'm going to select... Um, there's one called install a zip from the SD card. That's the one we're going to use. And again, I press the power button. Choose a zip from the SD card. It's pretty simple. I mean, I, this, you don't even need a real walkthrough on something like this. And then I'm going to select the bake snack 1.7. zip that I just copied over. And we're going to hit the power button. And again, yes, install it. So pretty simple. It's deleting some files, like all the nice stuff I put on there, all my applications. 
Um, Google will, of course, resync your contacts and all that. I highly recommend using the Google applications for your contacts. That way you never have to, like if you switch to any Android phone, you basically get all your contacts and all that good stuff back so you can actually call people up and not ask everybody for their phone number again. Um, this will take a while, so I'm just going to end the video and uh, have another piece that we set up.